So this is going to be the remote that comes with the box. And this is the wireless keyboard that comes with the box. On the top, it has an on and off switch. And this is useful for having to type something if you're going to search for a movie or a television show. It's a lot easier to use this than have to scroll with the regular remote. Um, it's a lot faster. And then this is going to be for the game, for the games. So when you first turn on the box, um, it's really simple to set up. All you have to do is there's a uh, power cord for the box. You plug that in and then HDMI cable you plug into the television. Um, and this is going to be the home screen on the box. Uh, you just have to go to settings. And go to the first thing, network and internet. Find your um, Wi-Fi. And go ahead and log into it. And you'll be ready to go. On the, um, on the remote, there's a little home button. You just hit that to go back to the home screen. Down on the bottom, all these apps here are all the apps that I installed. So we'll go through them. So the first one is called BTV. I'm just gonna go back to the home screen. So this is what the home screen will look like. You notice you'll see a lot of shows from like other countries. So it just basically has movies and television from all over the world. So you'll see, if you just kind of scroll through, you'll see a lot of popular movies, but you'll also see a lot of uh, weird things. Um, if you're looking for something particular, you can go to the home or to the search. And then that's when you would use the keyboard and you could type in whatever you were looking for. Scroll back to the home screen. On the left hand side, the three lines, this is how you can go from TV shows to movies. Like I said, you can scroll through and look at the different movies, or you can search for a particular movie. You can find a movie. I'm just going to click on it. You're just going to go to the play button. And what it's doing now is it's pulling up a bunch of different links to watch the movie. So they're different qualities. 720 is going to be high definition. 480 is low definition. So you want something 720 or higher. So you just click on it. And if it gives you an error, just go to a different link. It's going to take a second. And then it's going to go ahead and start playing your movie. You can hit the OK button on the thing to pause the movie. If you hit the back button, it's just going to exit you out of the movie. Home button is going to take us back to the home screen. The next one is called Cinema HD. This one is asking to install a new version. Okay, so with this one, you use your little uh, pad on the on the mouse here to go up to three lines if you want to change it to movies. You can just pick a movie or a TV show that you want. On the bottom, it's going to have it says stream, so it's going to look for different sources. Usually it's going to find, there it goes, it's starting to find more here. The 1080 is high definition. Go ahead and pick the link and it's going to ask you what you want to do. So you want to play the movie, obviously. It takes a few seconds. 
move these mouse out. Same with this one. The OK button is to just pause. Back button is going to stop the movie. And go back to the home screen. This next app here, when you hit this, this is basically just clearing any running apps that you have on the screen. You could just do that if it seems like it's running slow at all. We're going to skip this next app. We're going to do this one last. So this one here is called OTT Navigator. So this one is live television. This has all the live TV channels. So you notice on the left, what you're going to want to go to is the little TV icon. And this is on the movie channels. But if I hit the back button again, it's going to go to all the categories. See that these are all the different categories. So you have all your sports, sports channels here, you have NBA, MLB, NHL. Down here you have US Entertainment. So this would be like all the regular channels. So this is ABC East. And then you just scroll down different channels. So when you click on the, the channel, it's going to go ahead and open up for you. And if you want to go to a different channel, you would hit back and go to a different channel. This one is for, like I said, live TV. You hit back again. And again, if you hit back one more time, it goes back to the categories. So there's lots of different categories. You hit home, go back to the home screen. This next app is uh, YouTube. This, so this is YouTube, but it's a special version of YouTube where it takes out all the ads. So this is gonna be uh, YouTube uh, with no ads. This one here is another movie and television show. They're all pretty similar. I put uh, different ones on here just in case you're having an issue with one. You can use a different one. And again, you just go to the side to pick from TV shows or movies. You can scroll down. And look at the different movies. It's going to have movies that are still in the theaters too. Um, but they'll be bootleg versions. Sometimes they're pretty good. Sometimes not so good. Uh, and this one, when you see a movie you want, you just click watch now. It's going to do the same thing. It picks streams. Uh, you always want to look for one that's 720 or higher. So here's a 1080. Just hit play. This one I've already tried. So it's going to ask you if you've already watched the movie or you've already watched part of it. It's going to ask you if you want to start over, if you want to resume. So we just started over. Movie's playing. Get back. Get out of that. Go back to the home screen. This next one is for live TV as well. This one is definitely the best one for live television. It has a really nice guide. Oops. So this one, if you hit back a couple times, like the other one, it has different categories. So you pick the category. So then it goes to the guide like this. You can see what's on. You click on it. It's going to give you a preview on the top so you can watch what's going on while you're looking at other channels if you want. If you do want this one, you would click on it again and it's going to put it on full screen. Some Saturday Night Fever going on. Um, so, again, hit back again so you can go to all the different categories. So you got pay-per-view live events, so if there's a big boxing match or... Uh, UFC, this is where you would find those. And what it usually has on this is it will have all the, the fights, but if you scroll down lower, it's going to have backup of them as well. So if one of them's not working, you could always scroll down lower, and you're going to have backup. Same with um, all the sports packages. Usually there's going to be at least two um, 
uh, a regular version and then a backup if you went into like baseball or football or whatever it is. Um, there's also local channels. So you can see all the local channels. So this is Alaska. This is ABC in Alaska or um, whatever channel. So you could also look for sports that way if you knew that um, you're looking for a local game. Lots of different ways to look for sports. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this. This is also for live TV. I like to have a lot of options for the live TV, but if you go back to the main screen, it has live TV, live TV with the TV guide. So with live TV, it's just broken down into categories. And you would just click on a channel. And then it's gonna take you to this where it has the guide on the side. So when you click to the channel, it's gonna tell you what's on. And then if you want that channel, you would hit it again. And it's gonna go to full screen. So live television. So the last one I wanted to show you is this one here. This is a kind of all in one this is a, a multimedia player. It's called Cody, and this is a custom build on Cody. I want to show you a couple things on this. The first is um, to watch movies and television shows on here. Um, it's a little more difficult to navigate than the other apps, but it also is, usually has more links and you can find something that you possibly might not find on the uh, other ones. Uh, so it has, if you scroll side to side, it has different categories. Uh, try to see if I can get there here. Free zone. So if we go into free zone, really the only ones that you would uh, want to look at is the oath and the crew so if you clicked on those it's going to open up basically another app within this app um, you click on those and then it's going to basically go into movies or tv you would click on whatever you're looking for movie or tv um, and then it's going to have a bunch of categories or you can go to search and search for the particular movie or television show that you're looking for um, once you pick the movie, it's going to do the same thing that the other app was kind of doing. It's going to look for links. You pick one of the links, boom, you're watching your movie. It's as easy as that. The next thing I wanted to show you on here is the favorite section. So if we go to the favorites and then scroll down to favorites, this, the Internet Archive Game Launcher is going to be the video games. We're going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to pause the video just because it takes a couple minutes to, to load it up. So we're going to go ahead and click on Internet Archive Game Launcher. Okay, so this is going to be the next page. Um, this took, you know, about a minute or two to open this page. The reason it takes so long is because there's literally thousands and thousands of games on here and tons of different systems. Um, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to uh, click on Browse All Lists. You can browse by category, uh, whatever you wanted to do. But we're going to go ahead and go Browse All Lists. Okay, so then it's going to take us to all the different systems here. You see 3DO, Amiga, Amiga, CD32, blah, 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 everything. Um, you can scroll up and go here. Um, this is one of my favorite sections. It's Super Nintendo uh, Entertainment System Hacks. So this is um, games that basically hackers created. So it's like um, Mario Maker before it was even created. So some of them are incredibly, incredibly difficult and they're made that way. And some of them are just... Um, uh, Normal games. They're not all Mario games. There's other games in here too. There's um, lots of games. But we're going to go ahead and find a game here. One of the Mario ones. You see there's Brutal brutal Mario. So we'll, we'll go ahead and click on that one. So we're going to click on that one. 
We can go ahead and turn on our controller here to the switch on the bottom. It was just downloading, downloading the game. It just takes a couple seconds. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give you a, the next uh, screen is going to be different emulators. An emulator is just a program that's going to be running this game. So it's, it's uh, emulating the Super Nintendo system. Hence the name emulator. Um, so you can pick... I'm using the controller now. Uh, you can pick whichever one. If you pick one and it's uh, running slow or um, doesn't seem right, then you can just go back and you pick a different emulator. There we go. Game is starting. Game player. So yeah, now you're playing the game. Um, there's lots of different things to choose from. Um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega, etc. But that's, uh, I think, pretty much it.